The beast from the east isn't just a catchy phrase. It's a term that has become etched in the British public's memory, evoking images of relentless snow and icy winds. It's a powerful weather event that can disrupt daily life, halt transportation and challenge even the most prepared communities. The phenomenon occurs when freezing air from the vast Siberian plains sweeps across Europe, gathering moisture as it travels over the North Sea before slamming into the UK with full force. The result? Heavy snow blankets cities and countryside alike. Biting winds whip through streets and temperatures plunge far below what we're used to during a typical British winter. This isn't your average cold snap. It's a full-scale atmospheric invasion that transforms the familiar landscape, disrupts routines and truly tests our resilience as a nation. The Siberian air is exceptionally cold and dry, pushing away our usual milder Atlantic weather systems and replacing them with a harsh, unyielding chill. Instead of the wet, temperate winters we expect, we get a direct blast from the Arctic, flipping our weather patterns on their head and leaving many unprepared. The beast's origins make it so formidable, an unstoppable force that can bring the country to a standstill, closing schools, halting travel and straining emergency services. As we face Beast from the East 2.0, it's crucial to understand what we're up against so we can take the right steps to stay safe and minimise disruption. This is a major meteorological event, not just another cold day. It's a reminder of nature's power and unpredictability. Respecting its power helps us prepare, support one another, and look out for our communities as we face nature's icy challenge together. What triggers this Siberian blast? It starts high above us in the stratosphere, where the polar vortex usually keeps Arctic air locked away. Sometimes, a sudden stratospheric warming, SSW, rapidly heats the air above the Arctic, weakening the polar vortex. This disruption lets frigid air spill south, altering the jet stream and blocking our usual mild Atlantic weather. This December, an unusually early SSW event opened the floodgates, letting Siberian air surge west. The result? a perfect storm of atmospheric conditions now felt across the UK. It's a powerful reminder of how events miles above our heads can freeze life on the ground. What's remarkable about Beast from the East 2.0 is its timing. These events usually hit in late winter, but this year, an early SSW brought Arctic air at the very start of December. The cold arrived before we were ready. No gradual transition, just an instant deep freeze. The ground froze fast, leading to harder frosts, more ice and a greater risk of frozen pipes. This early arrival means we could face weeks, not days, of severe cold. It's not just a brief shock, it's a marathon that challenges our energy, health and endurance. Winter has arrived with a roar, catching us all off guard. As we endure this biting cold, memories of the unforgettable winters of 2018 and 2010 come flooding back, reminding us just how powerful and unpredictable British weather can be. The 2018 beast from the east swept across the country, bringing fierce blizzards leaving drivers stranded for hours and prompting rare red weather warnings that signalled just how serious the situation had become. In 2010, relentless cold gripped the nation, making December the coldest on record. Airports were forced to close, travel plans were thrown into chaos and Christmas celebrations were disrupted for thousands. This year's event is unique 
combining the early arrival of heavy snow seen in 2010 with the widespread disruption and intensity of 2018, making it a formidable challenge for everyone. The risk now is prolonged cold and heavy snowfall, which could last for days or even weeks, truly testing our resilience and ability to adapt to harsh winter conditions. Past events have taught us valuable lessons about the importance of preparation, looking out for one another, and the incredible strength of community spirit during difficult times. We've seen how quickly transport networks can grind to a halt, with roads and railways buried under snow, and how vital it is to heed official warnings and stay safe. Drawing on these hard-earned lessons helps us face the current challenge with greater foresight, determination and a sense of unity. Remembering the past and learning from it prepares us for whatever lies ahead, ensuring we're ready to weather the storm together. This isn't just another cold spell. This is a deep freeze that's gripping the nation in ways we haven't seen for years. Temperatures are not just dropping. They're smashing records for early December, surprising even seasoned meteorologists. In Braemar, Scotland, the mercury plunged to a bone-chilling minus 16 Celsius, a figure that rivals some of the coldest December nights ever recorded in the UK's history. Even towns in the usually milder south have shivered through nights at minus 10, with severe frosts transforming the countryside into a landscape of iron and glass, every surface sparkling but treacherous. The biting wind chill cuts through layers, making it feel even colder than the thermometer suggests, sapping warmth from anyone outside and turning even the shortest trips into challenging expeditions. With days of sub-zero temperatures, snow and ice stubbornly refuse to melt, compounding hazards. Roads and pavements grow more treacherous by the hour, while the energy grid strains under the soaring demand for heating, pushing systems to their limits. The fact that these extreme lows are arriving so early in the season sets this cold snap apart from typical winters, posing real risks to health, especially for the vulnerable, and disrupting daily routines for everyone. These aren't just numbers on a chart, they're a stark warning about the severity and power of this cold wave. This is no ordinary winter spell. It's a rare and dangerous event, marking a significant moment in the UK's meteorological history and reminding us of nature's unpredictable force. Severe cold transforms daily routines into challenges. Roads become hazardous, schools close, and public transport grinds to a halt. Railways freeze, buses struggle, and many can't get to work, forcing businesses to adapt or close. The NHS braces for more injuries and illnesses, especially among the vulnerable. At home, boilers strain, pipes freeze, and the risk of breakdowns rises. Even simple errands require caution. Layering up and navigating icy pavements. Utilities are stretched as demand for gas and electricity spikes. Life slows down and our world shrinks to the warmth of home. The weather exposes how much we rely on systems that can be easily disrupted. It's a stark reminder of our vulnerability to nature's extremes. Facing the beast from the east is daunting, but simple steps help. Layer clothing, wear hats and gloves, and choose shoes with good grip. Use draft excluders, close curtains at dusk, and shut doors to unused rooms. Know where your stopcock is in case of burst pipes. Eat hot meals, keep moving, and check on elderly neighbors. Prepare for disruptions charge your phone, have a torch, and stock some food and water. If driving, pack a winter kit, blanket, shovel, hot drink, and snacks. Preparation won't stop the snow, but it gives peace of mind. In harsh weather, the best of our community spirit emerges. 
Neighbours check in, clear paths and share supplies. Volunteers help NHS staff reach hospitals and deliver essentials to the vulnerable. Social media connects people with updates and offers of help. This resilience isn't just physical, it's mental, as we adapt and find ways to embrace the situation. Working from home, playing in the snow and slowing down become the new normal. Our greatest defence is looking out for each other. The weather may be cold, but our response is full of warmth. The big question, when will it end? Meteorologists see signs of a thaw as the high pressure system over Scandinavia weakens next week. Milder Atlantic air will slowly return, though the transition may bring messy weather, freezing rain or more snow. By the week before Christmas, the jet stream should bring back typical December temperatures. Snow and ice will melt and the landscape will return to green. Relief is coming and we'll look back on this cold snap as a test of resilience and community. The return of milder weather will be all the sweeter for what we've endured.